My name, my name is Dawn Fortune. I am a volunteer. I'm not paid to give this pitch, um, but it means a great deal to me. First, thank you, Peter, and thank you, thank you so much for opening your home and inviting your friends and badgering them to support it. Well, I'm going to badger them. You just invited them. But thank you both so very much. And can we thank them for putting on a good party? And thank you, Dennis, for uh, for everything. I'm getting. We're getting tired of seeing each other almost. No, no. <laughs> um, this is an uphill battle. Make no mistake about it. Um, the concept of same-sex marriage has been on the ballot in the United States 31 times. I'm sorry, 32 times. And 32 times it has failed. Most recently in California. Um, the world is watching. The world is watching Maine. This is our moment. This is our moment to do the right thing. This is our moment to be the Maine that is on the, 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 the with, with the motto on the flag that says, Dorigo, I lead. This is our moment to march to Selma. Okay, this is the single most political, single most important political issue of my lifetime, as far as equality goes. That's the truth. What we're up against is amazing. Um, our opponents, our, our, our opponents are very well organized. They're very well funded. And they are true believers. For many of them, this is nothing short of a holy war. Okay? There was a letter to the editor published yesterday in the Lewiston Sun Journal. By a gentleman named William Van Tassel from Turner, Maine. And he begins by saying, you, you, You're highlighted here. Just because craven politicians pass legislation legitimizing homosexuality doesn't make it any less of an immoral perversion. Because someone possibly matured with a hormonal imbalance or dysfunctional family doesn't make homosexuality any more acceptable than deadly violence from muscle-bound individuals reared in abusive environments. He goes on for a while, but he ends with this. I don't think homosexuality is worse than cheating on a spouse, paying someone to take a college exam, or leaving a dead mistress in a stream, but it's still sinful. God. This is what, and this is one of the nicer letters that I've seen, okay? This is what we are up against. Sometimes it is easy for those of us who are progressive, who live in progressive worlds, who surround ourselves with progressive people, to forget that people like this exist. And this is a very well written letter. Okay? This guy votes. And this guy gives money to his cause. This morning, Catholic churches all over Maine took up a special collection. This is the Catholic Church of my childhood. I was baptized. I made my first confession, my first communion, and my confirmation. Okay? The Catholic Church of my childhood has pledged $2 million to make sure that I can't get married. My aunt, who is the dearest person in my world, tithes to that Catholic Church. I'm going to see her this week. <laughs> um, I get the feeling that she probably designates her, her tithe to specific charity work, but still, <clears throat> we don't have a mentality of tithing. We don't. Our opponents do. In a holy war, you give every day. In a holy war, you give every paycheck. Not all of it, but you give some. How many of us give once? How many of us say, I wrote a check. I did my part. I marched before I'm done marching. More than one, I think. I'm not the only one in this room who said that before. This is a grassroots campaign. 
This is homegrown. This is local. We don't have huge churches to work on our behalf. What we have are living rooms like this where we raise money and we need a lot of money. The budget for this campaign, for the No One One campaign, is $3.4 million. The television commercials are extremely important and they're extremely expensive. There are three commercials on the laptop when you came in, when you filled out your <coughs> A 60 second commercial costs approximately $10,000 to make. For one week, to air it for one week on a cable package, okay, so you see it like I have, you see it on MSNBC, you see it on the Food Network, on the History Channel, on the Weather Channel, all that stuff, $150,000 one week. We have seven weeks left. Okay, A half page ad in the Sunday paper, $7,500. This is a political campaign at the level, it's a statewide political campaign. It's going to cost more than any other campaign for a single issue has ever cost in the state of Maine, period. We cannot afford to just give once, to write a check and say I've done my part. I figured out that if a person makes $30,000 a year and they don't write a one-time check for $100, that amounts to one-third of 1% 1 of their income. Is my equality worth more than that? I'd like to think so. Um, this is huge. I want to get married. Dennis has agreed to marry us. That's pretty cool. This battle is about equality and justice and dignity and security. It's about human rights and it's not going to be won on those issues. It's not going to be won on those things. No matter how right they are, it's going to be won on getting out the vote. Maine is split according to the polls. Our polls, their polls, and other people's polls all say Maine is split just about 50 50. Really? So, what happens is whoever gets more people, more of their people out to the polls will win. How do we do that? Well, we do that through voter ID, which means we do phone banking. We do call people and we say, Do you support this? And are you going to vote? How are you going to vote in November? And, and for every person that we identify who's going to vote no on one in November, we need to make sure that that person gets to the polls. We need to make sure that that person votes early if, that's a, if they're able to. All of this costs money, and it costs a lot of money. And it's not something that we can just do with a one-time check and say, I've done my part. Equality, freedom, democracy, they're nebulous terms, they're ethereal sort of concepts. But you can't order them out like pizza. You can't just write a check and expect it to be delivered. This is stuff we've got to work for. Democracy is not a spectator sport. If we want, if I want democracy to care for me, I've got to care for it. And that means I've got to participate. And I've got to do my part and maybe a little bit more.